Scattering is an important tool for extracting structural and dynamical information from a target sample. The information may correspond to a variety of aspects in the probed material, but is generally identified by extracted correlations. These correlations depend upon the interaction between the probe and the target. And so, when designing an investigation of some material, one would like to use a probe and a setup that accesses that information in some optimal way. Entanglement is a pervasive feature of quantum matter, and so a probe which can effectively interrogate it would advance our understanding of the nature and the existence of exotic correlations in novel materials. Examples of such materials are non-conventional superconductors, chiral magnets, and quantum spin liquids. To that end, we present the theory for scattering of a probe prepared in an entangled state. We will focus on the setup of a single particle probe, which is entangled in path and spin subsystems. That is, the two wave packets following different paths are associated with spin states which are orthogonal to each other. This mode entanglement is to be contrasted with probes containing multiple entangled particles, or particle entangled probes, which we comment briefly on in the appendix. The power of this probe is that the entanglement length Xi can be tuned continuously to investigate different length scales of the target. The introduction of new scales allows for the extraction of additional information from the target sample, including characteristics of entanglement. The probe just described reflects one which has now been realized experimentally by Shen et al. in this Nature Communications paper and we want to know what this new tool can accomplish. To date, no scattering experiments have employed entanglement in this manner as, until recently, no such probe has existed. It remains now to work out the scattering theory, which is, of course, the main result of our work. The formulation of the probe's initial state is key to our analysis. Analytically, the probe must be treated as a wave packet in order to distinguish one path from another a distinction which is ill-defined in a plane wave treatment. Armed with this initial state and the Born approximation, our Xi-dependent differential cross-sections and scattered polarization are found. In the case of magnetic scattering, these expressions can be cast in terms of a linear response function a la Van Hove. I will now discuss an application of our results to the case of magnetic scattering of a neutron probe by a spin dimer. We examine the scattering cross-section for initial states of varying degrees of entanglement in the target, and there are three primary length scales of this application. The wave packet width, delta, the entanglement length, psi, and the dimer length, d. And for different hierarchies, we get a different variety of profiles. And a particularly remarkable feature of this investigation is the quantum erasure illustrated in figure 7 of the article. This is in the hierarchy of small wave packets, and Xi and the dimer length are matching. When the dimer is in an unentangled state, we see the double slit-like interference pattern that we would expect from scattering by two centers. As the dimer state's degree of entanglement increases, we see the interference pattern replaced by a curious, more smooth shape. This erasure may represent a smoking gun of entanglement in such a material. This is a dramatic effect in this specific context. Future work includes the consideration of different subsystems. For example, the neutron wave packets of Shen et al. may also be entangled in their energies. And we are currently extending the probe to include intrinsic orbital angular momentum of the neutron beam. We expect our results and ideas to apply to other types of probes as well, such as photons and x-rays. And we hope that this theory and future experiments that it informs may shed light on naturally realized systems in which entanglement plays a role.